This is Cosmo Royale telling you to get ready for Gazbot and the Big Dog Defender. Action activate! As always is big dog defender haven't been this hyped in a while to be honest okay well you are hyped this is a hiatus show there is no new episode of beast morphs to review this week and uh like last week it's a little bit impromptu we didn't do a ton of preparation but unlike last week we do have a theme we have a topic which we'll know before you download us and what is that topic big dog we are talking our favorite ranger toys yes but with some caveats the caveats yes. are, one, we're not talking about weapons or morphers. That's, that's yep. a whole other thing we might do another time. And two, we have to own them. So there might be yes. some amazing grail toy out there in your collection. Doesn't matter if it's not in our – because we're going to show it to you. So if we don't own it, it – it's, sorry, it's our favorite toys that we own. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So – with that out of the way, oh, well, I guess I'll ask for the, the sake of the, the viewers. Many Power Ranger toys have Sentai counterparts that represent the same figure, Zord, whatever, but are different toys. Are those included? I think so. Okay. I think that if people agree or disagree, let us know in the comments just because I know that's something that we've talked about. But for me personally, like a prime example, and I don't have it out here, which is why I'm going to start with it. Sure. Um, the Light Zord from Samurai. I own the Japanese version because it is leaps oh, and bounds better. They don't even have one for, I mean, technically, but it's like a little figure like this. It doesn't even count. Yeah. But I own that too, but. <laughs> that the, the Light Zord is one that I almost brought out as one of my favorites, but I, I didn't. So that, uh, yeah. Okay. So that being said, let me give us a full two shot. Get rid of my art in the back there. Okay, so we got a full two shot. Would you like to go first? And also, we're going to talk about our favorites, but we're also going to talk some of our least favorites, and again, in our collection. And what's funny is when I was going through my collection, like most of my pieces I like a lot, and I'm like, but I know I had some stinkers. That's because recently I went through and put a lot in a box to get rid of. So all my really least favorite ones, they're not even in the house, but I still managed to find a few. So, But we're going to start with what we like, I guess? Yeah, so to be honest, I – would have to on the fly come up with some that I don't like because I found so many I like. There's honestly not enough time today to go over all of them. But um, I, as I was digging through, I went through a box of like my old Ranger toys as a kid. Right. Unfortunately, uh, one of them had a piece break, which was heartbreaking. And just looking, I'm like, while you were looking, oh. it broke or no, 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 it broke like before. Oh. And I opened the box, I'm like, oh no, but um. Yeah, I was digging through, and honestly, like, I just wanted to semi go chronologically. This is my original auto flipping Red Ranger. This sword is newer. I don't remember when I got it, but it was newer. But, like, not going to lie. Obviously, you know, almost 30 years old. That's right. fine. Not that bad, in my opinion. He looks a little chewed up there. Like, I've seen, he's not yellow, though, no, which no. to me, I, I commend because I got another one later that was yellow. And then it looks like I you think, played with him inside. So the sun didn't yeah. get him, but that you like played with him. And then I got this Green Ranger after 93. Oh, that's but a also, shape. yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know what? Not bad. And uh, so are those, yeah, your, man, those are some of your favorites, those two. Oh, yeah, I would easily put like it, it's one of those things, nostalgia bias, mm -hmm. where I'm like, these are awesome. I wouldn't want to get rid of these. I would always want some version of this in my collection. So either I have it or, but, or wouldn't you, you, I'm assuming the red one, since you know, it's from your kid, wouldn't that be the version? Even if you got a better one, you'd still want to keep that one. Right. Well, it's funny. Cause I have this and then I have the new one they re-released. So I have it on card. Right. But if you had to get rid of one of them, which one would you get rid of? Um, right now, the other one, cause it's not signed. If I got it signed, that would be difficult. Wait, you don't have either figure signed. What are you talking about? No, no, no. If I got the on-card vintage, oh. like, homage one signed, it'd be like, 
God, it looks exactly the same in its sign. Uh, okay, but I'm saying, but, but, uh, but putting putting that aside because that didn't happen. Just the two side by side, forgetting about what they're worth uh, in terms of money. Which would you keep? Still, probably that one. It it like to me. Really? So here's why. See, I I understand the like. This is the one I had, yeah. but like the other one, the way I think about it is because of how much is the same about it. It's in my head what I remember as a kid. It's I, like when I, we uh, watch some Power Rangers season one before we go back as an adult, we're like, man, that episode was so cool. And sometimes right. it holds up and sometimes it doesn't. But like in my head, I'm like, that is like the it, it's perfect right now. I, it's I not bad. Everything about it is great. Half my collection, not Power Rangers, but other stuff is exactly that. Like I have the new He-Man figures that are what I remember them looking like and the new Star Wars figures or whatever, you know, and I get that. But I just like you were like, it's. It's imbued with like time and love, and like I feel like if you ever yep. have a kid, you like this is the one I had. But I guess uh, uh, all right, I, I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised. Spoiler alert: yeah. There's plenty of time and love in here that okay. doesn't have a newer version that okay. I uh, fair enough. I remember more fondly. So, so we're not necessarily going in like this is my third best or my absolute. Yeah, so we're just going. So I will. I'll go next, and I will grab. Okay, this will be an easy one. This is, and actually, this is. I, I don't know if this is the Power Rangers version or not. This is SH Figure Arts. Bandai mm. Shinken Gold or Samurai Gold. Uh, they did have an American release. So even if you said, oh, no, we're not going to do Sentai, it's the exact same figure. Uh, yeah. And the helmet doesn't come off, but other than that, it's a pretty perfect figure. Um, it is. It, it, the, the, the posability, the, the accessories, got the little light zord. Um, I mean, it's just such figure arts. If you know what that is, they're great. Um, and it's one of my favorite Rangers. And he never got a really good American release, as far as I'm concerned, other than this in, in retail. Um, so this is this is one of my top picks. Even if I wasn't such a Gold Ranger fan uh, as far yeah. as the character, I just think it's a great figure. I like the color. I like the helmet design. It's it's nice and it's clean, but without it still has some detail. So, like, a lot of Power Rangers figures I bought and toys I bought before I ever saw the season. This isn't yep. one of them, but I would have. This is – yep. matter of fact, I'm not pulling this up, but just for, for reference, this is an RPM uh, series gold operator or whatever it's called. I bought this having never seen the season. This was like when I was first getting back into Power Rangers, and it was in a lot. I'm like, that guy looks cool. Some kind of Rocketeer Flash Gordy guy. I'll get him. So proof that I obviously would have bought him too because they're very similar aesthetics. And yeah. it happens to be a character I like a lot and a good toy, so that's that's one of my all-time favorites. That's what How I like to rank my favorites is like I look at my whole collection as like what are the last five or ten pieces I'll get rid of. If I had to sell everything, he would be one of the last ones I would get rid of. You uh, just made me realize I didn't have any figure arts in my list because I w had like American Bandai blinders on. Uh, well, that that was Bandai America, though. It was a Bandai America release. It was a re-release of a. You know what I mean, though. But I was thinking Power Ranger package. It was sold. I'm to not. Us. I'm not knocking okay. you at all. Okay. I'm saying as the list progresses, you'll be like, oh, I see what he meant. Yeah. No, I understand. Well, I, I think we've both said there's a real chance that this will be. A, a part one of a series so go ahead. yeah and that's the other thing just to take a quick moment i we're five minutes in and i love this video if you guys <laughs> want more please please tell us in the comments because yeah. i would love to do this with the theme that you guys pick or just anything because i got too much yeah. so i'm i'm going semi chronologically with mine okay just because that's how i've thought and uh when i was going through um these ones I pulled from this bin recently to look at another figure. And this is one where I happen to get the entire like sub collection of these in one fell swoop. I'm going to try You're vamping for a very long time. But what is it going to be? I got the battle boards. Oh, okay. and I all of them. I, I have all five to get some of these. Didn't I? Um, I think I, it was in a lot and it's funny now that I say I have all of them. I know I have white, I, but it's I, I not this box one shot because I gave you a one shot and it's just like your elbow and part of your, your butt. I know. Or, sorry. I don't even know what so, I'm looking at. <laughs> I, I do own white. I don't know where she is right now, but we dude, these you. things are so great. They are very like great. we, Gazbot and I went over them when I got these and some of the screws are rusted and whatever, but these are in great shape considering. And like the, the articulation is impressive. Yeah. The articulate, look at that. That's like 95, yeah. maybe. Cause this was season three, 95, 96. Like every, look at that. Very look, the skirt moves, the yeah, skirt the kind moves. Of, that's the kind of stuff we see now in figures, double jointed. Elbows, yeah. Skirts with slits on them. Yeah. And the best part is you guys know my my bias toward red a lot of the time, especially Gasbot will point out. Red is not my favorite out of this group. No. I would say it is white and then followed by probably blue. 
because he just looks dude the white one's so cool it's white. just got that crane f- they kind of look like a, a knight kind of like yeah it's got like a very sleek like right. face for the crane and it helps that uh she was the leader on the sensei team true and i guess the american team which is cool i, I, I like blue I, I got a thing for wolves so the fact that it's a wolf helps a lot but I also yeah. like black because it looks like some kind of skeleton. Like, I forget what it's supposed to be, but it always looks to me like a, it's robot a frog. Skeleton. Yeah, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like some kind of, like, evil Darth Vader skeleton or something. Yeah, like, these things are great. They display well. And just for comparison's sake, because I have it right here, um, I want to see how it scales with uh, the model kit. I just joined a Mini Pla face group or Facebook group, so I'm okay. seeing how things scale. Like, look at oh, that, man. Oh, that's pretty perfect. Yeah, yeah like perfect. I, I have this for scale because a lot of things that I have out, I'm like, ooh, does that go well? Okay, cool. <laughs> good. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's uh yeah, that's a the pick. the team pick is. And I I have I have two, but I would happily get the rest if I could find them at a reasonable price. Yeah, that's how I feel about the five inch, which you happen to have complete, and I have three of. Oh, the Kaku or the four one. inch. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I do, but one of mine's missing the head. Band. but you have two versions of blue which yes. makes up for it it's and it's true. even better yes <laughs> <laughs> um and actually on that shelf right next to them uh not from that season but shortly after is my next pick from turbo Ooh. oh i think i know blue oh dude yeah runner. that's just so great but on the motorcycle i had another version i had traded for which was the typical one that had like the battlematic action and then i saw this one um i, I think is here, this you... the one you're talking about or no hold on let me, I, I don't have you up here let me go no, uh, I have that. Okay. Mine's in rough shape. That's because that's not the blue centurion. That's his. Um, his it's his Megazord, Megazord pretty much. Yeah, I forget. I, I forget the name of it. But yeah, but it transforms. My, I have mine in robot mode, and he's got a busted chest. It kind of bums me out every time I look. I should have brought that as one of my least favorites because although I like it, mine is in such rough shape. I'm always like, yeah, I know. Uh, no, but this guy, um, the, the regular figure is like about six inches tall, and when you, his arm goes up and down with the gun, he's got a little signal thing, and it's fine. It's a little bit bulky. It's great. But this one has, you're talking about, again, the joints, the posability. He's got the double joint. It's actually a single joint, but it's a really good single joint. It's got a swivel, uh, kind of like a G.I. Joe figure. And it's got the chrome on him and on the bike. And he's yep. got his guns that connect, and they become the tailpipe. And it's all kind of self-included. And it rolls really well, and it displays really well. And it's in perfect shape. I got it. Uh, it was a present, but I know uh, it was on Amazon, like like a, a reseller. And it was, like, new in the box, like, two years ago, even though this is – so I haven't had this since the 90s. I've had this since two years ago. But yep. I, I, I like Blue Centurion. I like the goofy characters. Uh, I like Turbo more than most people, I think. Uh, yeah. I, I really like – even if he didn't have the bike, I would still like the figure. But him with the bike, it's it's just the whole package. And he's got clear – the only thing that would make him better, you know what I'm going to say, is if, if, if the lights lit up. Like, if I could press a button, it was like, woo, woo, woo. Like, that would make it perfect, but – there's an argument to be made, and I know we touched upon this with the mini plot in a previous episode of like smaller scale to get more and more intricate and stuff. There's an argument to be made that if you were to get Turbo in space and possibly Zeo at a reasonable price, that that scale has like arguably the best figures. I like agree. the Turbo carts are just so great going is this along your with next him. Or are you just talking about it? No, I'm just talking okay. about it. Like that, this is my way of throwing in stuff that I don't have to have as picks. Gotcha. Well, keep in mind if we do another show, you don't want to blow all your ideas. No. Oh, I could never do that. So we're good. <laughs> Trust okay. me. All right. So what's your next one? Um. So I wanted to, you know, bust in the first Megazord. This okay. Megazord, I would put in the. If I could only keep a few, this one I would keep regardless right. if it was Power Rangers, just because I played this thing so much as a kid. And even like this just shows that the simplicity of it. Let me guess. L- allow- oh, go for well, it. We'll finish it. Don't show it. Finish what you're saying, but don't show it. You okay. Show it. Um, I played with this a bunch as a kid. This is mine as a kid. And I, I banged this thing around. Like this thing got rough and tumbled, and as I'll show you, it has scratches. It looks great considering how like durable this is. We don't get toys as durable anymore. The, the durability is throwing me off because it makes me want to. And I'm like, semi chronological still. Right. So I want to say like Oric, but I don't think because he's durable. But I don't think that's anybody's favorite. I'm gonna go with one which I I dislike, but the the second Zeo Megazord, the one that's all shapes close okay oh dude yeah i i love this it's thing i would transform work, this turn them on no so it's funny um i don't know if i ever installed batteries as a kid because i didn't care about that function for this what is i would wrong honestly with you 
I, I know. He I would honestly punches. just... I know. I would just have him like this. And honestly, oh. a lot of the time, because I would do like big Zord battles right. with my stuff, I would have him on the back as the cannons right. for the Zeo Megazord. Right, so he that's... On the can back on the can... He... Oh, I know. Like, I don't know. Oh, I... my God. Yeah, I, it's... I, I would be so mad at you if I came over to your house to play and you're like, I don't bother putting batteries in. It's like, what? Never like if they nah. ran out, fine. But you never even did. they probably did. I don't know. I don't remember. I just remember playing with this thing a bunch. Yeah, like I don't know how many of the scratches come up, but even with it grainy and probably delayed, like the Chrome no, still's actually, fine. Really good today. Well, that's good. Yeah. No, he looks good. I actually I don't have him, but I would like him. I actually, oh, dude, he's so cool. I don't know if you remember. I actually got one at a at a show in the box that was supposed to be new or at least like new. But then I brought it home and it had like scratches and there was like battery, like residue. And I was like, ah, and I returned it. And then I haven't yeah. found one at a price I liked since. So that's, but I have the original Zeo Megazord too. So I could yeah. combine them theoretically, but that's a good pick. Okay, I well, mean, th that mode's fun, but I think putting them side by side is just the. Oh, that's, I'd probably do, do it for a minute or two. And then, you know. Yeah. Um, and I got the little, uh, the little version right here to go with. Oh, the battle boards. Yeah, I liked. Up. I did some head cannon when I was making this list, or pulling these things out. Where did he go? He's in. Oh, here he is. And I was like, man, what if Tommy just, you know, was able to use that dragon dagger one more time? Just get a little, little action, <laughs> use the words out. That'd be awesome. So I got a lot of uh, good display use out of these after the mini plot, which I'm thankful about. That is that is good. That is a good pick. Your your go, Gasbot. Um... You know, I'm realizing I have many Megazords I like, uh, but I only pull... Not handy, I know. Yeah, uh, and I was kind of kind of save this one for my big finisher, but I will, I'll bring it out now. Do you want to take a guess? You're uh, for your big Megazord, you're going to do the Lion Zord that I convinced you to get from Mystic Force. No. Oh, you're going to do the SPD Carrier Zord that you got at a flea market for like 20 bucks. No. Oh! Nice. I'm gonna do the Super Train Megazord or the the Grand Liner or whatever it's called in Sentai. He's so cool, man. Um, I have those. I, I I do. He's right that I do like the big ones. I like the giant ones, the Carrier Zords or whatever. He's very clicky. If you can hear that, he's got nice ratchet joints. Yeah. He is a brick, as they say. Um, he could basically yep. his arms go up and down, and that's more or less it. He's huge. Uh, let me back up so you can see how big he is. I mean, he's he's enormous. Yeah, actually, I think he's like two feet tall. Uh, do I have I have a? I thought I had a yardstick somewhere. I would estimate he's two feet tall. He doesn't have many pieces. He's got these little antenna and a missing one. I got this used for a good price, but they all turn into the individual trains, which I'm not going to do right now. And the trains can hold the original Zord, so it's like there's a lot of functionality as a carrier Zord, but it also the real appeal to me is it becomes a big brick of a monster robot. Yeah. That's black with chrome i love chrome and yep. he's great and and i like power rangers but i also like uh transformers and so a lot of more modern collectors younger collectors ones like this might not appeal to them as much because it's what they call a brick meaning he basically he stands there but having collected transformers most of them were bricks so it's like this going back to what you were saying like if i didn't like power rangers i would just that's a cool robot i want I just want that cool robot. And we saw it somewhere at some point, and I didn't buy it. And I thought about it and thought about it, and eventually I, I broke down and yeah. got it. And I've never regretted it. And like we said, this would be one of the last ones I'd ever get rid of if I had to. Yeah. Because he, he would go – I'd put him next to my Star Wars figures. I'd put him next to my – I'd find a place for him somewhere because he's, he's so uh, – beef, beef. One thing that uh, eventually if you do it and if you remember this, I, I want you to try for all of us. Um, if you ever rearrange your transformer shelf, can you put him fighting Devastator just to see the size difference? I bigger. feel so. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the original, well, the, the G1 Devastator is smaller, but the re-release is bigger by about that much. I think he's uh, okay. about on scale with maybe Predaking, the new Predaking, or maybe a hair taller than one of the combiners. I could gotcha. put him next to Devastator, but I think it wouldn't be a fair fight, is what I'm saying. Um. Yeah, he's probably you're right. He's probably about the size of a, like a Combiner Wars or Titans Return Combiner. Yeah, that's but but I think with uh, the add-ons or something, I think he's a little bit bigger, which is why Predaking I say because Predaking specifically is a little bit bigger. But that that doesn't matter. That's not what we're here to talk about. But yeah, I love him. He's great. He's one of he my is. Favorite, he's one of my favorite toys, not just Power Rangers toys, but toys. He's one that I obviously like. Um, I, it's a rare thing for me to do, but I'm like. I don't know where I would put him, and I have so much stuff that's not out. I shouldn't like commit myself to that because it'd be heartbreaking to get it and then be like, I have nowhere to put him. I understand what like, you're saying. 
absolutely. I mean, I have the same issues with space, but this is. I like him so much. I'm like, I will get rid of something. I like he will have space. Something else will lose. Yeah. Uh, I will point something out just for anybody that's thinking about buying them because you could find them for all kinds of different prices. These front pieces come off. Uh, to so when you transform it, they stick on here. Often you find it without these front pieces, and it'll be cheaper. I don't. I mean, if you want to be able to transform it, you need them. So I I think it needs them. Um, if you see it, just it fills it out. It like it's it just out. so cool. It's got like the cool kind of front. So if you see one that's suspiciously cheap, make sure it has those. The other thing it might be missing are the antennas. That doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. These top parts here are sometimes chewed up too. Kids or cat uh, or dogs or cats will chew them. But the main thing is, if you see this for like a hundred bucks and then you see another one for fifty, chances are the one that's fifty is missing one of these. So just be aware. Yeah, I think and your I deal breakers on. By the way. <laughs> Yeah, I think your deal breakers on him are similar to mine where it needed the front pieces in reasonable shape. Yeah. It needed the helmet to be full yeah. and not like so glaringly bad that like I I would be distracted and the antennas were actually a selling point of like, uh, oh, it doesn't have the antennas. Like, could you take 10 off right. maybe? Well, you know, actually the other thing now that I think about it, uh, stickers, believe it or not, are very important because especially not, I mean, if there's some missing in the back, whatever, but like these are stickers. So if yeah. one of these is missing, it's going to look bad. Like, there's actually a scuff. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. There's, like, a paint scuff here. I don't care. I can live with that. That's battle damage. But missing a whole sticker, it's like, uh, yeah, it could be battle damage. But, like, if I bought it without stickers, I'd have to buy repro stickers. And then it's like, you know. Yeah, I, I was about to ask if BD15 uh, decals has those, but he probably does. I haven't looked because I don't need them. But I, yeah. Yeah. But I, I good got them and I got them for a good price a while ago. So, I'm yeah, I'm happy. The only thing wrong with mine is that little scratch and missing one antenna. As, as far as I'm concerned, it's perfect. So as we continue through this list, I realize that there are a handful of things I would have included, but full transparency, I don't have at my house now because don't, don't I mention. moved. No, no, no. I just wait. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm setting up why for okay. future videos potentially. Um, I moved three months ago now into my current house, and some stuff is still at my mom's. And with everything going on, I haven't pulled everything. It hasn't been a huge priority. But with that said. Uh, there are things there that easily would have made this list. So if you want to see what those are, please uh, make a part two for either figures, Megazords, or other stuff. And there's at least one that checks each box. <laughs> um, but bringing it back down to figures, yeah. um, thinking again about figures that I loved as a kid, these two were two of my favorites that I played with all the time. One of them is missing two accessories. I actually broke, unfortunately, the sword handle for one, which is a bummer, but he still is great on his own. Um, and this one is super chewed up. So you'll tell that I played with him all the live long, did you do but, the chewing uh, or did you have a pet? No, no, no. Like the paint's chipping off. Cause you kept chewing on it. No. Um, but this was one of my favorite seasons still is. And these were two of my favorite characters to see fight on the show as a kid. Oh, Andros and a clifter. Okay. This is still one of the best villain figures we've ever had. He's I just agree. so awesome. I almost picked him. Yeah, he he with his cape is good. Yeah. Um. Obviously, the sword it broke off. Um. That's unfortunate. I it might be in two pieces of one of these bins. If I find it, I'll super glue it. But I played with this Andro so much. The light up feature does not work. But I got his spiral saber that's not chewed up. Got the blaster. I even threw in just for fun the uh, four inch blaster oh. <laughs> from uh, Zane avenging his uh, buddy. This will be before Silver Ranger comes in. And uh, yeah, these things are awesome. They still hold up. And uh, Can you fix the I'm just... feature? Can you put batteries in it? Or is it like sealed where you can't? I would have to unscrew the entire back and I'm not going to do it. Gotcha. But probably. And then once again, just to kind of show, dude, scale's pretty good. Yeah. I, I'm selling I, I, myself more and more I on the mini like plot. Set up a display here. I might, hopefully. Um, but but I, yeah, but, like. But in contrast, I will say, to to look at the other scale, it's nice to have a big Zord and then have some smaller figures next to it. That's a good look too. Yeah. Um. For me, uh, since I have primarily Detolfs, I have a bookshelf that I plan on putting my bank Zords on. But the Detolfs is where I can really use risers and. And really get that going with that. So uh, I'm excited. I have more Zord and uh, monster figures in that scale than I thought. So that nice. might come out pretty nice when I eventually in 2084 get a display going. <laughs> <laughs> do you have Do you have some uh, bad examples? Do you have some less favorite ones handy? 
because I could pull one of mine now. If if you got one ready, you could do that. We'll do the one in the middle here. Cause least, I don't end up bad ones. least favorite. I honestly am fine putting the bad ones in their own list. Really? If you are, yeah, because I feel like I don't want to like on the fly be like, oh, this one sucks, and then be like, eh, I don't know. All right, all right. Well, let me move all those over then. Um, so. Because I I have some. I just don't know off of a what's in front of me and off the top of my head what I'd be like this one's terrible like I'm on such a positive high right now okay. that I I I'd even see Gravi's praises right now look at this guy how how could you be mad at him when you're talking about toys this much in such a great way god I right. I may even say things about my favorite season who's to say what what's your favorite season again Operation Overdrive. Nope, you don't get to clip season. this. I will do it another day. Not not this day. Oh, that's fine. I I, I just cut to the stock footage when you talked about it in the past. <laughs> that's fine. Um. <laughs> okay, so, so. Oh. I just went your turn. Yeah. Yes. I was trying to think of who's who's uh, go. My next one. Uh, this is one that. Uh. I like the figure a lot for various reasons that I'll go into. But it also like like kind of like it has the equivalent of sentimental value. But I haven't had it since I was a kid. But I got it in Japan, and uh, I got it for a really stupid low price. And, I know what this is. And uh, it was in the box. I don't know if it was new or repackaged, but it might as well have been new. Uh, and it is Zeo Gold. Yep, King Ranger. King Ranger. Yeah, it's it's a great figure. But the fa- like part of what I love about it is that I got it in Japan, and I don't remember what I paid, but I want to say it was like twelve bucks. It was really cheap. Yeah, it was, it was so cheap. Yeah, it was cheap in general, and the fact that I was there, because I've seen them online and they don't go for that, and this is the Japanese version, which is wouldn't matter, except that uh, I, th- I think the Canon maybe wasn't available in America. I don't remember the difference, but he's in perfect condition. He's shiny. He's that build we were just talking about, that 5-inch scale where he doesn't have tons of abs and crazy stuff. He looks appropriate. He's got shiny gold, and it's not something that's going to come off and you're going to lose. Now, he has the cannon. The cannon I could normally take or leave. This was not in the show. They had a different colored one. I think it was a red one that they would all get around. That was like the Super Blaster for Zeo. Um, so this was just a recolor because I think they had a red one, and they had King Ranger. And so yep. I, I didn't get Zeo one. They didn't have it or whatever I, where I was. I would have got it just for the figure. But it does make a nice display, even if it's not, you know – pardon the pun, cannon, um, and it's got the gold on it, and it rotates, and it's really cool. The, the, I don't have a battery in it, but it actually does have a light-up and sound feature when you press here, but it's that doo-doo-doo-doo that comes from, like, 99-cent guns, and it's yeah. got like, three little lights. Light. So that's kind of lame, uh, so that's why I'm not worrying about it. But, yeah, the, the whole little display and everything, he's an awesome figure. It's an awesome memory. It's an awesome deal. It's, it's King Ranger. The only bummer is he does come with the staff, which I don't have. I broke it. I broke it in half because it has a little peg for the hand and, and the thing. And I pulled it out or put it on, you know, it's old plastic and it snapped in the middle. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I wasn't displaying him with it anyway because it's uh, dull, um, like gray plastic. And so it didn't look as good. So I'm bummed that I broke it, but I wasn't displaying it anyway. So, but yeah, this is yeah. one of my absolute favorite pieces. Yeah, I honestly, I don't remember if you, I haven't been to your house in forever, but putting him with these guys from Alien Ranger, like, since they had the team up, just makes sense. I have him next to my Chrome uh, Mighty Morphin, the movie ones, the non-flip heads, because the shiny just goes together, and I don't You mean them. these guys? Uh, yes. <laughs> so I realized when I was digging out, this isn't my pick, by the way, I have... What? How is that not your pick? <laughs> I have yellow... Uh, black, blue. I think I ended up with a red from you somehow, unless I got rid of it, Possibly, which means I, that I was making a point of getting all of them. So if there was like two, I would buy two and just get rid of the one I did. Yeah, get. I think I have a white in a different. Oh, I'm just missing pink unless I have a pink somewhere. Oh, wow. I just realized <laughs> I might have that collection, but uh, I'm missing. I think the shield, which would be a bummer because yeah. that's super hard to find. I just found out from Bruno. So you're probably um, just getting a complete one at that point. No, they're so expensive. He's, he even said, I saw one of his recent videos about displays. He's like, yeah, uh, Mighty Morphin White, I'm not getting a second one for my Zeo shelf because they're really expensive, and I'm not buying it. Are you talking about the Chromie one or the original one? Um, I think both are expensive now, unfortunately. Chromie have, might not be. I have the Chromie one. I actually had another one in the package, which I can't remember if I sold or not. Like the movie version. I think you sold it. Yeah, I know, because it was like 50 bucks or something. It was. I, Maybe. I don't think it was even that much when I sold it. It might have gone up since then. Maybe I shouldn't have sold it. <laughs> no, nah, mine mine are so loose and beat up, I would just get one to go with them. Right. All right, so what's your actual pick, even though you snuck that in there? Yeah, I know. Um. So this one, this one's weird. I haven't got to fully 
appreciate it. Uh, this is another Megazord, by the way. Um, I, I've had it. I've played with it here and there, but to be honest, I haven't given it the love and care it deserves. Gazbot actually picked this up for me oh. a couple years back, and I'm really excited I have it because I plan on getting some version of either Dino Knights Megazord or the Japanese version so I can have all four main Dinozords together. This is the original Dino Thunder Megazord. This guy is semi-brick, but he's also just awesome, man. Like, you have the feature. Uh, mine doesn't have batteries in it, we'll but he get, he's got the drill and he's limited possibility, but like, just look at it, man. He is just so awesome looking cool. like i was glad you wanted him when i bought him because i had already spent a lot of money and i was that sort of thing like do you want this guy and you're like yes I'm like good then i don't have to decide if i want it <laughs> exactly and that's kind of how it was i think for us in the train uh no i was on it no i got this from a, a group I didn't get it from a store i we, when we were shopping for that train i've seen you pass on like three of them yeah and i'm glad i did because i got him for a stupid good price from a, a facebook group I agree, but I'm saying I don't know. If you get the point. That's no, fine. You I don't. get the No, you get the Ninja oh, Steel point. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. You're like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I don't know what point um, trying to make here, sir. Yeah, like I'm just gonna do this so we have two Megazords next to each other for size comparison. Okay. So obviously very different eras, Disney and uh Zordon, but still scale really well Not together. Zabon, like Zordon. Yeah, I know. This one uh, is a little mm. bit taller, but I mean, all the Zords are different they're, they're sizes. Close, but so. I do feel like, yeah, the Dino one is a tiny bit, a tad small. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to move the camera rather than move the toy for my next pick. Okay. Uh, it is, sorry for those that are getting motion sick from this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just throwing up from the smell of your farts, not from actually uh, the camera at all. Powerful, aren't they? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to make it. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do that one. Sorry. That'll be if we do a part two. I, I think you and I have the same one, and mine's not here. <laughs> well, am I, I, it's here, but it's in an intricate display where if I try to quick oh, I know. Up, it's going to knock I, everything over. So I, 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 think, I think we're lined up on that one. All right. Well, instead, uh, where's the other one? Oh, here it is. This one um, is uh, – this one is more, uh, again, about the story. Um, this is – not RPM. Uh, this is Go On Black or Go On Wolf or whatever his name is. And the yeah. reason, and I haven't seen Go On, so this is RPM Black, uh, you know, for me. But yeah. uh, this, I, I have a fair amount of, I keep looking up here because I have a wall of vinyl. So I probably have like, I don't know, 25, 30 of them at this point. But once upon a time, I had like three. And this was one of the first ones I got when I actually knew what RPM was, but I got it in Japan the first night I went to like the first toy store and there was a, like it was a really high end store. I mean, there were so many high end stores, but they'd had, you know, like, Oh, look, here's an Ultraman for $7,000. Cause from 1967. And here's a, this, you know, like anything you could think of, but then they had these bins that you could dig through. And I found him in there for three or $4 in perfect condition. And I was like, Oh my God, he's so cheap. And, and I bought it in Japan. And it was like the first power ranger thing I got like the first day. And I love this character and I love the representation of it. So it's, Again, it's a good figure, but the, the memories attached to like this is my Japanese vinyl Power Rangers. Yeah. Like the other one, I I like better, but this one was like, you know, the first. <laughs> Are you talking about the regular five inch version? No, I was saying this is King Zeo Ranger, which I also got in Japan. Oh, like got it, got it, got it. Sorry. Better. This one, as a figure, is less impressive, but in my heart, is more impressive. Because, like, yeah, I was it was the first moment when I was like, wait, I'm going to buy a Japanese toy in Japan. Here we go. I know so. that I when when that eventually happens for me, knock on wood, I've hyped that up in my head so much <laughs> is just buying a figure in Japan. Yeah, um, it was great. That, that's a great pick. Yeah. Um, similar era, different figures, same love. Mm. Um, I'm going to do another two for because I have most of this team. Okay. Unfortunately, not all. I'm missing the American exclusive exclusive Rangers from the season, but another heavy hitter set of figures. Can you guess? Oh yes, uh, Jungle Fury, dude. Yeah, these range. This one I didn't realize how loose. I'm gonna have to tighten these joints. But like, look at this die she, dude. Yeah. The, and all- here's the best part: it has an action feature, which a lot of American toys do. Right. 
what weird one did they cram in here? <laughs> totally reasonable. Totally reasonable. Oh my god. Like I love these things. I need to really tighten the joints on this. Um I got this set, I forget from who, but I bought it all together. I absolutely love them. They're awesome. I'm missing the Spirit Rangers. I have um let me just check. I, I think almost, I have some I, what's funny is I have that set of I don't have the Spirit Rangers, I don't have Daishi, but I have the hero set, but I'm in the process of getting rid of them. They're not that I think they're terrible. But I also, going back to vinyls, I have the entire team in vinyl, including the Jungle Master mode. And I, yeah. as good as those are, and I think the Disney figures are the best until Hasbro took over. N- nostalgia notwithstanding. Nice, Camille. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I, I, I can live with just these and hope that Lightning Collection does them. So that's, that's yeah. why I was able to let them go. Um, I'm, I'm in this spot where I'm fine keeping them for a plethora of reasons. And Space having is one of my issues, too, though. Oh, I know. And it's one of mine. I just choose not to address it. Um, <laughs> I I do have Jungle Masters of uh, the main three. I just double checked in this bag of Rangers. They only had the main three are the only ones that had Jungle Master mode. Well, technically, uh, no, RJ and Dominic uh, which, don't have much, much Jungle Master mode. Well, RJ is already a Jungle Master. That's why he doesn't need the mode is what I was going to say. Right. But you were implying you said I only have it of the main. Three. Hey, whoa. There's an implication hey, that the only you see. Hey, now, why are you wasting time talking to me and arguing uh, when you could have your pick? Point. <laughs> Get out. Uh, All right, what do you got? Uh, wait, didn't I just go? I went with RPM. Oh, no, then you did Jungle Fury, right. Okay. Uh, this one I was going to hold off on only because it doesn't have batteries in it, which I didn't realize. And that's okay. half of what I like about it. But I will share it. And this, is an, this is, again, goes back to didn't see the season, thought it was cool, got it anyway, which is a lot of them. SPD, as people that follow Dude, me, I have a yes. season. I have three Zords. I have the Carrier Zord, I have the SWAT Zord, and I have, the, I guess this is the basic Zord, Mega Zord. Um, out of the three, this is my favorite. Um, yeah, and he's great. He, The individual Zords are great. Um, oops, I just started untransforming them by accident. Let me give myself one shot here. The individual Zords are great. Um, the, the colors are nice and bright, and you know this, this specimen is nice and white. The thing that's killing me that doesn't have batteries in because it lights up here, it lights up here, it's got a great pattern, and it's got sound, and you could, like, stomp it, and it's like, psh, psh, so it's got motion-activated sound and light. And yeah. this is the Japanese version. And the main difference, because uh, around this era in, in uh, Disney, like, the figures were some of the best as far as uh, proportions and stuff, and the Zords, for the most part, used the same molds. But they would sometimes omit certain electronics. And, sorry, something came unsnapped here. I'm kind of messing with it. Uh, and the electronics they omitted in this one, I believe, are the legs. So it would light up here, but not down here. So the Japanese one has more light, and so I needed that one. Uh, yep. and, and the individual Zords, are, like, they're a little bit cartoony almost. Like, you can see this one becomes a little car. But I kind of like it. It's got kind of a cute aesthetic. Uh, yeah. And it's got the, the double pistols. I only have one in the hand right now, but I love the idea that it's got the double pistols. And uh, there's also storage. Where is it? Somewhere there's storage for the extra pieces, which. Uh, I oh, yeah. I believe the sides flare out yeah, where it was this holster I'm for it. Trouble getting it. It's it's in here, but it I goes mean, at like a 45. There yeah, there. there. And see, there's the other. He's got like a bigger weapon and stuff, and you can put it on there, which I think is really awesome, too. So yeah. having not seen the season, even if I see it and I hate it, which I, I'm sure I won't because everyone says it's good. This is a cool Zord, um, and I got this. This one, uh, I got for. Oh, it was a gift. That's what it was. It was a gift. The SWAT Zord, I wasn't planning on getting, but we were at a show and they had it for a really good price. And then, yep. and then the Carrier Zord, I even more wasn't planning on getting, but yeah, I got that at a flea market for like twenty bucks because it was like dirty and like unloved, and I took it home and cleaned it up and you know fixed it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this guy, this guy is very cool. One of my favorite sword figures. Uh, I'm really annoyed that it didn't have batteries in it to show you guys. I'm sorry about that. If we do another one, I'll make a point of just bringing him out and go, yeah. by the way, here's the batteries. Although I'm sure you could look up online and see what he does. But yeah, he's no, nah, we need to see it live. That's how we do it over here. Gotcha. Um, another Zord just to stay on it. Cause I only grabbed a couple Zords for this. So this Zord I got, I think most recently out of all my Zords, I had gotten a lot. I forget how long ago of, uh, Zords from this season and it was mostly pieces. The way I saw it is it was like, hey, here's all these old like toys that my kid doesn't want anymore. Oh, it's this right. much. Right. It's like 40 bucks or something. I don't oh, remember. you just got this recently. No. I don't even, the last no, week. it was 
no well, months three, ago because it was poor quarantine but sure. yeah it was within the last six to well, a sure. year i know oh, that okay. maybe it's oh did you get it a while ago but you're talking to me about it recently probably no because no, that the one i'm thinking of i actually tipped you off to so anyway what is it go ahead let's see anyways um so i got this um uh, the swords from the lot was putting them together seeing what pieces i was missing and then i was like wait a minute i think there's some more pieces missing had reached out like hey um i think there's some pieces missing from this like and circle them in the photos are like oh yeah i thought they were just like random pieces i'm like oh well like can i get them because i thought i was buying them right uh ended up meeting again got them wasn't a huge deal put it together it was actually this full zord and i have dino thunder gold terrazord this thing's pretty awesome um yeah. when it's not formed it's just a pile of bits so they so it wasn't even that you were missing pieces for another zord you were missing an entire zord that they thought was yeah and they were like oh it's just random pieces on the ground um you get the wings to flare out, which is cool. The other cool thing that I like. So this is it just in its base mode. Right. Do I have? Uh, I don't think I do. Um, so what's cool is when you're combining it with the other modes, you right. do. How does this go on the back or on the front? I think on the back. Yeah. So you do um, this on the back and pretty much just flipping the arms like upside down from how they were. And then what you're able to do is have the wings all the way out. And then in these ports right here, you can then put uh, any of the arm pieces that work for the other uh, dinosaurs, which is awesome. Then you just get this massive little uh, little thing going. I think the same. No, I don't think the same's for the hips. But like, yeah, you get things this far apart as opposed to kind of down in the other version. So a lot of functionality. Cannons are awesome. I love the helmet chest piece growls like everything's awesome and uh really excited to get this because i didn't I'm, when it came out and i regretted it i i am surprised that's one of your top oops hold on i am surprised that's one of your top favorites not that it's bad or anything but like uh recency bias like honestly if i had to rank every single one this wouldn't be in the top 10 right but it would be in the top 100 okay um, I actually have blown through the ones I brought. I, not that I didn't have more, but I thought we were going to talk a lot more. So I, 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 I told you we, we could go quick, slow in between. Okay, well, so we're I have 40 something minutes, so we're doing okay. But, uh, yeah. I, I grabbed this from the other room while you were talking real quick. I can still hear you and stuff. Oh, um, I know. But unfortunately this also doesn't have batteries and half of what I like about it is the batteries. But, uh, do you, do you have any guesses? It, Do you have any more backstory about how you got it, its um, sentimentality, why no, you love it? I mean, it was a Christmas present, but that's not – has nothing to do with it. Um, it is a character – it fits in with the type of characters I like. It's not necessarily everyone else's type of favorite character, but it's one of my types of characters. Uh, that... Oh, is this the 12-inch Robo Knight? It is the 12-inch Robo Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it did yeah. just steal. No, that I was good. Steal, okay. Though. Yeah. Um, Hey, I love Robo Knight, and again, I understand not everyone does, but the, like the goofy kind of character is the Ernest. We're gonna save the Earth. Um, he's got Chrome, and he doesn't fit. He's he doesn't fit in with any of the rest of my collection, which normally would mean I wouldn't get it. But I have yeah. a small collection of Large Ranger and Ultraman and, and Beetleborg figures. And I got like seven or eight figures that big, and he yeah. fits in with them. He's got the nice Chrome on top. He's got a translucent visor which lights up when you press it, and he talks. The battery's dead. So unfortunately, but he's like, you know, I am Robo Knight, defender of Earth. They're like, stand back, evil mutant, or whatever. They, and is, and yeah. It's, I think it's a sound like it's not the actual actor, but it's close enough. And he has the sword and the gun, and he's he's and he's a very toyetic. Like he could just arms up and down, you could bang him around. I would have loved him as a kid. Uh, I love him for different reasons as an adult. And yes, it is the twelve inch Robo Knight. <laughs> nice. Um, another one that I like, uh, figure wise, and this is one, I think this is one of the only examples I have of like a positive is a lot of times, especially in the nineties and early two thousands, power Rangers would make a lot of toys and what? depending on the, I know, right. <laughs> depending on the season, some would have a lot of figures they could make based on things that happen to the characters, different modes, things like that. Other seasons would have to grasp at straws a little bit harder. Right. And come up with things that weren't in the show. More often than not, it didn't work out, depending on your views on it. 
backpacks. yeah, some of the motorcycles, ba- power ups, backpacks, whatever. Other times, like in my instance, um, I really like it and kind of have my head cannon for it. So this is a figure that I loosely wanted for a while after seeing this season. And with Gazbot at a flea market, I found it amongst a lot of figures. We both picked up some uh, some Ranger figures out of there, and this character wasn't in the show, isn't canon. But is based off of what if this Zord actually had a Ranger? So what I have is RPM Ranger Eleven, oh, which is the yeah. T Rex Ranger, dude. Like props to Bandai because I know this is one of the seasons where they're like, eh, there might not be Power Rangers, but like this wasn't in the show. You could have fooled me if you showed me. Yeah. I love the kind of uh, track jacket, overcoat oh, kind color. of aesthetic. Yeah. yeah, it's got its own morpher, which is like a locomotive because it was a big old train. Yeah. So it spins that way. It's got it on the legs instead of the wheels. Like everything about this is awesome. And I can put this with either other Rangers that are unique to the American market or even just with my RPMs. And like he's solid and looks like what a six ranger should so everything about this yeah that i just not, love that was not cheaped out they, so they got a good designer to like it looks like a center there could be a team that looks like that like they did yeah a good and job there of, are yeah, there are yeah. i think three that they made for this i think it was yeah. nine ten eleven the blue one and yeah but i mean what i mean is that if you showed me that and said this is a sentai that you haven't seen i'd go oh yeah i, I believe it it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like a knockoff it looks real yeah well, exactly well, i i I thought you were going to go the other way and because uh, there's the Zord for the Titanium Ranger that he didn't actually have, but there was a toy of. It's the exact opposite, though. Like, what if this Ranger had a Zord? And, you know, but that's pretty cool. Um, I am out of things. I, I say rather than keep going, let's let's stop here. And if people want to see more, we'll do another. I, I'm not out of things in my house. I'm out of things that I've pulled and have readily available, but I could easily do this again. Um, so. Uh, time out. Sorry to interrupt you. So um, I'm in the same body, spot as Gaz. I would love to talk about these more. So let me know in preparation for this video, because I didn't know how quick or how slow we were going to do this. Gaz has no idea what I'm about to show. Oh, boy. This is what I have staged and ready. So please have us do a part two, three, four, whatever. So I can talk about these and any of these. Oh, my God. What the heck? I came prepared. You really came prepared. I <laughs> I mean, we went quicker than I thought we would, but there's no way we were going to get to all that stuff. No. Yeah. But, but so, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, we just roll and next week do the same thing. If people dig this, um, yeah, I would like to do one about weapons and morphers, but I think that should be its own whole thing. Um, yeah. Do you want to do you have any that you're well, maybe do you want to should I end with like a disappointing one? Because I feel like we're probably not going to do a show of that. I, just... I have enough, I think, in my collection that are disappointing. Okay. I think we could right. do one. Okay. Um, we'll I will end on a positive, though. Yes, end on a positive. Um, so with these, obviously, a lot of different ones uh, that we talked about or didn't talk about. Um, one that I wanted to do kind of as an honorable mention, I just, like, this isn't one of my favorite seasons, but a lot of the aesthetics and themes of this season I love. And in terms of, like, Zord lists, I probably wouldn't put this – crazy high up there but one figure i got within the last couple years that like just blows me away the more i look at it play with it is the red uh mystic force zord the coolest thing about this season is all of the zords individually were various sizes and that's awesome and this is about the size of a regular uh, uh, no of just a regular Zor, yeah, it's about the size of a mini plot. I yeah. probably wouldn't put it with my mini plot to be honest, because it's supposed to be like small. humanoid size. Oh, I see, I see. Do you? Have, yeah, and do you have the whole Mystic Force Megazord or just that one guy? I'm missing blue, possibly, and for sure pink. Like the female oh, Zords, I think I'm missing. I know I, think, I have green. I think I have just yellow, actually. Weirdly enough. Yeah, yellow is a cool one. I have a couple versions of yellow. Some have wings, some don't, just because I've ended up with them in lots and stuff. But um, definitely cool. The other cool thing is this goes. I don't think I have it on me, um, but I think it, it fits in the Centaur Zord and the Unicorn Zord, where like oh, it's from the base. Thunder Zord? No, 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 from the show. From Mystic Force. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, there are two Zords that fit like one this size that I need to see if I actually have a complete Zord now. I didn't know it, but uh, that's one. 
possible themes. This is assuming people want to see this, do this again. If you hate it, please tell us. We won't waste your time. But I say favorite toy from a season. That applies. That assumes that we have a toy from every season, which I'm not. You don't think between the two of us we do? Maybe, but what if they say, what if, how can we do that if we don't have, if I don't have a toy from a season, how can I have a favorite? We, we would do if it applies to you. Like, okay. We would default to something. I, just a thought. Okay. Um, favorite I mean, figures just, only, favorite awards. We could just yeah. do this again. We don't have to. Uh, yeah, we can have a theme, but we don't have to. No, the re- the only reason I bring up a theme is I liked the challenge of it. Oh, like Like I'm looking at Zords. It's like, what's your favorite Jungle Fury toy? Is it the Megazord or is it the Purple Ranger figure? It's like, oh, man, like it's a great question. I mean, you know what I mean? But then would that include morphers and and role play items as well then if we did by season uh, that we have them for like i have the jungle master claw but i wouldn't put that above the zord but that would be in the same category if we went that way see what i'm saying we have a lot of options all right well I- i'm fine with doing this again if people are interested if they want a theme that's great too um I- I- do we want to do i don't really have any news stuff do you have any do you want to do any news or i have brief news that you don't have to put um clips up for or okay. anything all right what is it um, so today Kickstarter released from Renegade Games the newest expansion oh, right. and add-on pack for the board game the for uh, Battle for the Grid. Yeah, the expansion is called Rise of the Psycho Rangers. And then the villain pack two includes the Machine Empire. One of the cool things that I like, and I didn't look too deep into it, is on the cover it has Shadow Borg. I saw from that. The, yeah, yeah, honestly, really I'm cool. like, oh, okay. I think it's in there, so that's, that's why I'm like, cool. oh man. So I got, Morgan. I know I got to look at that, but um, yeah, there was that. I guess the um, other thing, um, Power Morph Con for those that don't know, and I'm sure everyone does, has been officially canceled. Well, postponed. They posted the new date. I think it's till June. June, yeah. So it's gonna be at a different hotel or all the information. If you go to PowerMorphCon.com, it's up there. They've changed the date and they've changed the venue, but it's pushed back until next year, which is probably for the best. It's a bummer, but yep. you know, what are you gonna do? There is a Power Rangers virtual con at the end of this month that uh, Gazbot and I found out about this week. Um, to be honest, I don't have a bunch of details about it in front of me. And I literally like saw it was there and was like, oh, this is kind of cool and said to the Gazbot. We didn't really have a chance to talk about it, but that's something I'm not sure how much tickets are. Um, to be fully transparent, I don't know if I'm going to do it just based right. on what I'm doing that weekend or uh, if it's. Somewhere. Yeah, if it's Sorry. if it's a decent amount, like I'll see. Like I I haven't fully there determined have been a yet. Few virtual cons that I have not yet participated in live. I don't. I'm not even 100 percent sure how it works. How much you pay? What is the same? Are you just paying to see a stream? Because if they post it up later, I could wait a week and not have to be there live. But I know. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of. Yeah, yeah it, it, it it's interesting too because there's a possibility I might be doing a virtual con in the near future. But I don't know anything about it. So I should probably go to a virtual con. The same way I say, if you're going to table at a convention and sell, you should go as a guest first. So yep. maybe I'll do it just so I have an idea what it's like because I might be doing one on the other side eventually. Not for Power Rangers, uh, for Godzilla. Um, that's why you don't know about it. <laughs> um, but uh, let me see. The thing you were talking about. Okay. Legendary virtual con- Legendary Ranger virtual con. Uh, two guest announcements coming soon. Uh, both international, one a first-time guest. So this, I, you can see there. That's I'm just. They they've announced a lot of guests on that uh, Instagram page. That's where I got the info that I oh, sent okay. over to Gazbot. So they yeah. Announced John Tui uh, from SPD and, and Mystic Force, uh, Andrew Gray, Cameron Jeb- uh, Jebo, John Laddermill from uh, Mega Force, got uh, Nakia Baris, Catherine Sutherland from Zio, Dwayne Cameron from Overdrive, Chris Graham. He is some kind of red knight guy, I guess, from Mystic Force. Brennan oh, from uh, yeah. Sino Charge, Blake Foster from Turbo. I think I think that's all they have up there right now. But yeah, oh, they got uh, the guy that played uh, Common Rider Dragon Knight, Stephen Ford. So they, they nice. have a lot of guests. Um, but there's also been one or two Ranger. Uh, con- there, there was a, a virtual guy that had some Rangers, but then there was another one. Uh, that I didn't get a chance to look at, but I, I actually I kind of looked at it because again there was like a playback later that had like nine rangers on one like Zoom meeting, which I always feel like I'd almost rather there be one or two or three because I feel like I, I don't know it's similar they do that at a panel too sometimes though they have everybody from the whole season and each person gets to say one thing so it's kind of cool that they're in the room together but I feel like you get better stories when there's less people um, yeah but I I turned it on and didn't have time to really watch it and then I kind of scrubbed 
10 minutes in and it was like something had gone wrong technically like the guy running it had stepped away and literally it was just brendan mejia in the middle he's like so uh what's everybody up to and i'm like oh boy <laughs> brendan's taking charge because something happened here <laughs> like good he's taking you. dino charge he's taking dino charge that's an interesting deal for you yeah, sir. just deal thank now, you on that note i think we're done so to the power um no yeah to the power, uh, deactivate and uh, comment that you want to see this again because I really want to do it. So please tell us your thoughts. True. End credits. Hello. There they go. People run because they know we're super soldiers. We got cool clothes. Da -da -da. Action activate. <laughs> No, it's Henshin, uh, something else. Uh, Energize. But no, actually, Energize, it yeah. is a lyric of that song. But I think. But I don't think it's in the intro. No, I, I, it comes later, which is <laughs> funny. <laughs> it, the name of the song is Action Activate. All right, I'm going to stop recording. Goodbye, everybody. Later.